Welcome friends, welcome back to Cocktails After Dark where I am exploring cocktails and uh, how you can change the flavor just by using different base spirits, all in an effort to find out what I like. So today we're gonna do something called the Little Club Number no. One from Ted Saucier's 1951 cocktail guide. Um, and it just consists of two ingredients, drambouille and blended scotch. And I know that there are already people tippity typing telling me that that is called a rusty nail and you would be correct today it's called a rusty nail um, this drink first appeared in 1937 and it was called the BIF uh, Brit British Industries Fair and uh, that name never really stuck um, and so in the intervening years it's been called a whole bunch of things and then around 1963 um, the rusty nail stuck Today I'm gonna to make this two ways, um, and I've got three blended scotches here that I could possibly use. Um, I don't have too much left of the Dewar's 25, so I'm gonna leave that one aside, and I'm going to make this with the Chivas and the, uh, the Dewar's 15, and we're gonna compare how the, flavors, uh, how the flavors work out. So that was three quarters of an ounce of Drambuie in each one, and now we're gonna do an ounce and a half of the whiskey. Each glass gets some ice and a stir. And I don't particularly like stirring in these glasses. They've got little indentations that you're supposed to hold your, with your fingers uh, to make it easier to hang on to, but it makes it really difficult to stir in the glass. Um, even with the round end, it's almost impossible. Okay, let's give them a go. First, the Dewar's 15. Uh, definitely, definitely getting, you know, scotch on the nose. And I'm not sure what the Drambuie's bringing to the nose of this drink. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Um, so I'm going to taste the Drambuie on its own a little bit later uh, because I'm not terribly familiar with it uh, as a liqueur. But I have a feeling what it's bringing to this is um, kind of that syrupy mouth feel because it, uh, it probably has a lot of sugar in it. We'll get to that in a moment. Now let's try the, the Chivas. Uh... Still getting the scotch whiskey on the nose, not getting much from the Drambuie, although the Drambuie is mostly scotch. So I'm not surprised by that. Um, getting a different sort of scotch profile though than I got with the Dewar's because they are very different uh, tasting scotch whiskeys. Okay. Okay. The Chivas is sweeter, definitely sweeter. Um, a less complex drink, something that would be very easy to sit down at the bar and plow through a couple of those. Um, very pleasant to drink uh, in, the, in, the, in the sweetness and the flavor profile. The Dewar's is much more challenging. The Dewar's is something that still I would love to drink, um, but you would sit down and I think I would sip this a little more slowly and the way that the flavor develops over time, uh, and the way that as the ice cube sort of melts and dilutes it, it will change over time as well. But right off the bat, it is a much more complex cocktail. Yeah. Less sweet, more complex. And the large clear ice cubes uh, that I'm using here will melt fairly slowly, relatively slowly, so you won't get a whole lot of dilution over the course of drinking this cocktail. Now let's just try the Drambuie on its own. Um, let's see what this is all about just on its own and see what it's bringing to the party. I'm not going to have too much, just, uh, just a taste. That's wild. That is wild. Aged scotch whiskey, spices, heather, and honey. 
So that's the sweetness, the heather. Um, hmm. I don't know about that. I gotta tell you, I haven't eaten a lot of heather in my lifetime. I don't think I have anyway. That would be very nice on its own, just on the rocks, I'm sure. So there is no right or wrong here, no matter what you call this. The little club number one, uh, the knucklehead, the MiG-21, the rusty nail, the BIF. Uh, this is a great cocktail. And simply by switching out the whiskey that you use, you can completely sort of change the flavor profile and give you something that is either really easy to drink or sort of a little bit more challenging and thoughtful. So let me know in the comments down below um, whether you like a rusty nail, uh, what you call it, where you live, and what blended scotch whiskey you use in it. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.